All right, uh, hello YouTube. This time we're on NASCAR 14 instead of 15. Um, I actually had a request just like 10 minutes ago to do a camo video, so I'm gonna do it. Um, a spreadsheet for camo is kind of a little far fetched because it just is. <laughs> um, but this is an old car. This is yeah, this is a very old car actually. Probably uh, eight months old. Anyways. Um, Here, I think it's on this page actually. I thought it was gonna be on three or four, but I think it's on this one. Yeah, there it is. All right, edit. As you can see, 99 layers. So, I go all the way back to the first one. There ninety nine. I don't even know what it is. It's way in the back. It's a, this right here. It's a little stick in the background, and it's just a little inwardy part of the design. It's, it's just a rectangle skewed to the max, sized weirdly, and it's brown with um, an opacity of seventy. So you know, it just started like that. I'm actually gonna go make a new brush. You see kind of what goes into it. I'm gonna make a new brush real quick. Okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna go back here, just size it kind of weird, maybe I can just make it stick like I'm gonna want. Um, you gotta take a minute. Okay. It's a little thinner. Just kind of slant it. You're just gonna want to make, you know, random stick looking things, random grass looking things. So there's a stick. Okay, you can stamp this all around, change the opacity. Okay, uh, flip it, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. You can change the opacity on this, make it. 90%, why not? It was actually more a tan than a brown. And just move it all around, and then that's what it's gonna sound. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna make you're gonna use uh, squares just uh, like that for grass and sticks. And by the way, this is more real tree-ish camo, not digital army camo. But anyways, um. You can use that for grass and sticks and whatnot. And then you're gonna come over to sprays and splats. Where does that make sense? You're just gonna get some random sprays and splats and put them places. Uh, let's make this green. And just put it random places. You know, random. Rotate it around if you want. Maybe skew it a little bit. I'm probably adding too much of these actually. And then, as weird as it may sound, you're going to go back to that same area. Uh, the other phrase is flat. And say we want to make this darker brown. I don't know why, but let's just do it. Maybe, you know, just kind of uh, random place to make a tree trunk or a branch or something. That's what this could be. Well, play the role of Bob Ross, I guess. Um, you know, that could be part of the tree, I guess, right there. And then you'll come back over here. Let's actually go this way this time. Let's see what we've got. Um, flames, why not? 
We want to make these real opaque though. Maybe around 40. I don't want these to be overbearing in the uh, brush. <clears throat> But they do help with that random look to things. You just put it random places, try to make it the best looking you can. And then, you know, just back out of this. As you can see, that was 45 layers right there, just that little bit. So it takes a lot of layers. That's one of the reasons it's kind of unrealistic to do a spreadsheet for ink for camo. One of many reasons. I'll go back into this one. And as you can see, I'm going to get my little cursor right here. Do. Make the, actually, I can keep it white. As you can see, you know, there's some splats in here, some flames right there, random sticks and whatnot. It's got a little, it's got a little too much tan to it, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, a lot of random stuff all around. Uh, I use some triangles and some places, you know, who knows what. I don't know, I just, I used random things to just make it look like the best camo I could. You can see right there, that breaks it down a little bit. I didn't even mean to do that, actually, but you can see, you know, you just want to go with random things. You know, but you don't have to go too into detail or anything, you just want to go random with it. Um, you know, that's how nature is, so you want to, you want to put that into a brush, basically. Um, and then when I put it on the car, I put a hand background behind it, and then just put everything over it. Like I said, I made it. I gave it a little too much tan when I made it. Uh, I would give it a little more green than I did, maybe a little more brown, a little more brown too. Voice crack, sorry. Um, and just kind of you know that tan background tends to work. And then I put this on the car, and that's what I got with it. Let's just go back to the race shop. Yeah, again, just be random with it. Um, no, you know, nature doesn't really have a pattern in that case, so don't try and add some kind of pattern. Just do random things, you know, sticks, grass, moss, tree branches, whatever. Um, Whatever you feel like, we'll take this car to some place, I don't know where. Um, let's take it to Pocono, why not? And we'll just look at it on the track and then we're going to call this good. Alright, so we're at the track. Uh, let's take a couple of laps, I guess. You see the camel? Looks pretty nice. Uh, like I said, a little too much tan. But still a real nice camo. camo I, especially making it eight months ago. I really was not that awesome at painting at all. <laughs> um, it wasn't bad, necessarily, but I, I had a long ways to go to get to where I was. I mean, to where I am now. Let's just go into turn two. And I just did a really simple design on this. Uh, just down the sides. I don't want to be overbearing because of the camo. Um, you know, it's a bit of a distraction. It doesn't mean you can't go all out with it. Um, just, you know, mess around with it. Try and find something that looks good. Right, we'll just check up right here. Photo mode. Yeah, I made this on Fort on NASCAR 14, so I only had a limited brush space. But you can make it on NASCAR 15, and there's more brush space to add more things. Um, but you don't have to fulfill that entire thing because you're gonna run out of layers very, very quickly. So uh, you know, we'll look at this. You know, camo looks pretty nice and the number and everything. You want to make it? I I would say a smaller part of the design, but if you want to go all out with it, go for it. You know. Do whatever looks good to you, that's what matters. 
I'll just continue and get somewhere. You can see the whole car, really. Alright, so you can see it, the side now, with some light on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a small part of the design, but it's still a big part of the design. It's just not overbearing is what it is. Um, uh, and I, you know, I had Bass Pro in my career at the time, so I gave it that awesome fluorescent uh, orange. And then some white between the orange and the camo. You're going to want to have probably white between your, you know, between other colors and the camo. Um, just so that it doesn't mix and look even worse. Well, I shouldn't say even worse, but so it doesn't look bad. Um, but yeah. That's how I did camo like eight months ago on NASCAR 14. Shout out to Christian Satter. I forgot his um, YouTube channel name. But he, I, I first watched his video to figure out how to do uh, camo way back when. So shout out to him. He deserves some credit on this. And um, that's that.